Major Robert M. White steps from a van at Edwards Air Force Base to go aloft in the X-15 for an assault on the altitude record now held by that craft. The stubby-winged X-15 is carried skyward by a B-52 mothership. Today, it's planned to release White and his plane 45,000 feet over Nevada. Previously, the X-15 has flown 46 and 7 tenths miles high and has hit speeds of 4,100 miles an hour. the X-15 is carried to the proper altitude, it will be released by the B-52 and its own engine will take over for the flight into space. And the space flight it actually is. Now the moment is at hand and the X-15 roars free on a tongue of flame. The 57,000 pound thrust of its engine is to burn for only 81 seconds. But that power is enough to shoot the Major nearly 59 miles into space. Major White experiences three minutes of weightlessness, just as did the other astronauts who made orbital and suborbital flights. And when he re-enters the Earth's atmosphere for a landing, he undergoes five times the force of gravity. Major White is now eligible for astronaut wings, awarded to all pilots who fly higher than 50 miles. His speed during the flight was 3,700 miles an hour. Not a record, but he wasn't riding a local either. Seven-year-old son, Gregory, was a proud witness. The saga of the X-15 and its pilots is marked at the White House, as the four men who have piloted the plane received the famed Collier Trophy that is awarded for noted contributions to aviation. Along with Major White, Scott Crossfield, Joseph Walker, and Commander Forrest Peterson are honored for their work with the plane. Honors for men of daring who have contributed greatly to the conquest of space.